Fisher. We want to get back to Eric Fisher at the finish line with another special guest. Hey there, Paula. Yes, we are joined by a fan favorite last year, no doubt about it, as he became just a household name in the Boston Marathon, Chris Nickich, who is joining us, who just had a PR in a marathon. Chris, congrats. How are you feeling, man? You know, uh, as of last year, completing the marathon in uh, six hours, and I realized that uh, yeah, Boston is my home, too. And, uh, and I came across uh, second marathon, which I didn't know of, and uh, I realized that if I did a second marathon, that'd be the uh, post Lopez uh, PR record, and <clears throat> now that I feel that now I'm done, <laughs> I have covered days of rest. Yep. No workouts, mm -hmm. no nothing. I think it's well deserved at this point. You've had a busy run. I mean, you won ESPN's Jimmy V Courage Award last year. You've got this bib number, which has some pretty big significance now. Three, two, one. 321, what does that mean? You know, uh, 321 means that uh, if someone wants to run a marathon uh, for next year, the people like would, me, right? Uh, the, 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 the I would, you know, say to people, uh, if you are not a three trial run, you can run a possible marathon. And Tracy, I uh, was a guide and helped Chris run today and had a great time out there. Tracy, you know, you've been on this 1% better program with Chris, something that came from Chris's father, correct? Yes, it's 1% better. All we want everybody to do is just go out and get 1% better every day. Start out with one push-up, do two push-ups the next day, just do 1% better every single day. And that's how he did Ironman. He just, his dad just pushed him 1% better every day, and that's how he got through his first Ironman. <clears throat> What's Chris like out there on the course? Because we know he's a character here when he comes to the finish line with us at the end of the year. What do you guys chat about when you're out there running? So it was hard work today. I really pushed Chris today. He really likes, he thrives on hugs. Chris loves to hug. But today I kind of was giving him the hard mama love. And uh, we had a little bit less hugs, but it paid off because we got an awesome PR today. But he was he was awesome. We, we did have some fun, though. We, we shook it out there a little bit, didn't we? Yeah, yeah we had some fun. We yeah. still had fun, but we worked really hard hard today he helped me get up some of them hills I had him pull me and, and you've got a big uh, sponsorship now too right Adidas with the first uh, someone with Down syndrome as a runner being sponsored what does that mean to you you know being sponsored for the three trial run for the Adidas it sounds like you know it's like a place for everyone to be included and uh, that the Boston people know that if they're really to be represent better, I mean, it's a good damn day. Then, what can we do? And I'm saying to myself, if I do a better song, that song will do that same thing. Well, congrats, Chris. You did an awesome job again. I know what's up next for you guys. Another big race. I uh, know the New York Marathon later this year. Uh, New York Marathon um, is Amanda your guide for that one. Amanda will be his guide for that one. And he's got Kona this year. So he's got uh, some big shoes to fill. He's got a lot of work ahead of him. Taking on Kona. That's a big one. Chris, congrats, man. Great job. Love to see you again. We'll see you back here next year, all right? Absolutely. All right. Chris Nickich and. Uh, talking about being included that's what the marathon is really all about everyone here coming from all different walks of life finishing a huge accomplishment and a big race and uh chris crushing it as always guys back to you absolutely eric congratulations to chris